We're here with Jake Lowenthal here at Signature Theater in Virginia. We just saw Private Jones. Congratulations. It's the first show. How are you feeling? Amazing. Uh, first preview is always really exciting to get to hear the audience. Yes. And this is such a unique piece oscillating between being kind of very, uh, very serious and very funny. Yeah. And so to get all of the laughs uh, from this crowd was like, oh, good. We're on the right track. Yeah. Yeah. If you were to describe the show to your friends, what would you say? Oh boy, uh, okay, it's a World War I musical about a young Welsh sniper named Gomer Jones who loses his hearing when he is around maybe 11 or 12 uh, because he has meningitis, but he wants to join the South Wales borderers to fight in the war, but he can't because he's deaf. And so he fakes his way through the exam to go to war, and it's about all of the things that happened to him while pretending to be able to hear uh, in the army and the friends he makes along the way and the lessons he learns yes. and the friends Oh, this is like the friends we made along the way moment. There's yeah. also a dog. There's also a dog. Multiple and, dogs. And can we talk about you? You make some really amazing, I don't even know how I would like sound effects. Thank you. I am an excellent whimperer. <laughs> uh, and you have a dog at home. Is that right? Yes. Um, have you been getting pointers? Yes, he makes lots of noises. <laughs> <laughs> is he like, yes, closer, a little a little different? Um, you need to work on no, it. No, when I practice on my, my dog in pain sounds at home, which I have been doing the last few weeks, he's like, stop. <laughs> no, he, yeah, he does not like yeah. that. It was amazing seeing so many familiar faces on stage, not just Jake, who I've seen many times and here at Rent, but also Amelia, who I saw years ago at a She NYC production of Dancing Girl. And it was amazing to see deaf actors using ASL on stage and really like bringing this story forward and and Dickie too who just won an Obie award yes for dark disabled stories and yes. that's one thing that's really special about Private Jones there are many things that are very special about Private Jones but one thing is uh, the ensemble which is made up of deaf and hard of hearing and hearing actors all coming together to tell this story yeah I definitely think it furthers the stage and I saw one of the actors from uh, for color girls who was on Broadway also in the audience tonight so it's really bringing the theater community together i didn't know that yeah that's very cool it's so fun and for me it was a really uh new and unique experience uh an educational experience to be in a room with a director of artistic sign language alexandria wales who has so beautifully put her mark on this production uh she worked on coda oh my god yeah of coda. course yeah she's incredible and her contributions to this production have been invaluable as you could see tonight Definitely. yeah yeah i i love how seeing from like deaf west spring awakening really like brought to the attention of a lot of uh actors in the broadway community and now to see it continuing to further here in uh in at private jones really phenomenal and johnny link our private jones yes. uh who you can see on my life with the walter boys on netflix Ooh. streaming now We've got a star on our hands. Okay. So we have made sure that the entire show is captioned so yes. that it is completely accessible to a hard of hearing and or deaf audience. Uh, and so, of course, they are in Wales, so they speak BSL. Mm -hmm. But we do use ASL in the narrative parts of the show. There are a few narration moments, uh, and that's... One of my favorite things is getting to collaborate with Amelia, yes. who plays the storyteller uh, on on how we open the second act and how the sign language matches up with the English that Marshall Paywitt wrote to open the act. Uh, and I've never gotten to interpret um, <laughs> for, uh, for in, in sign language or into English before. And yeah. that was a really interesting and, and fun new uh, challenge for me. Yeah. Has there been a specific moment in this process for you that's like really felt like it clicked? Yeah, I think it, this was a, a really interesting new challenge for me because nine out of the 12 actors in the show did a workshop production of it up at good speed this yeah. fall which i couldn't do because i was here doing ragtime and so three of us were learning the show brand new and all of these other people knew the show and so yeah. to have that really steep learning curve was tough um yeah. it was tough but marshall the director was like right now it feels like the three of you guys versus everyone else and someday it's not gonna feel like that oh, and yeah. in just the last few days i've been like oh i'm in the show Yay! I, <laughs> and that's been it's been nice but it was uh it was a lot of work yeah because it imagine. is a unique show mm -hmm. with uh with all the foley yeah. and all of the really intricate music and 
and the movement is so beautiful and so precise. Definitely. Uh, there is a precision to this show that has been uh, a really fun challenge. And you've been in the show here many times. This is your fifth production at Signature. Yeah. Iconic. Uh, we saw you here as Mark in Red. Yeah. Slay. We love to see it. Slay. And and <laughs> and my Roger is also in the show you saw tonight. Yes. And so it is really nice to be reunited with my Vincent Michael, formerly Vincent Kemsky. Oh. Yeah. Name change. Name change. Glow we up. love. We love a glow we up, baby. We love a glow up. <laughs> Um, is that an interesting dynamic going from a Mark Roger to this? Oh, totally. Well, also the actress that plays King was the baker's wife last year when I played <gasps> the baker in Into the Woods. So Amazing. it's it's all in the family. It's, yeah, it's a gift to have this almost not it's not a company structure, but to have right. these actors you work with again and again and again. Yeah. Uh, and you just sort of get to pick up where you left off. Yeah, and for audience members who come here to the Signature Theater, they can really feel like they're getting to know the actors by, you know, there being repetition, and that's really amazing. I do need to um, talk about something that is very cool with you, that I got some inside baseball knowledge. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Julia told me, so... My sister. <laughs> your sister, my friend. Um, whoa, wild. Whoa. whoa. Small world, where'd you meet? Um, we met at, in Salzburg, Austria Isn't at a media weird? study abroad. Isn't that crazy? Sound of Music, what's up? What's up, Sound of Music? <laughs> my favorite. Fun fact, the Sound of Music uh, sent me like a, a PR box thing for their upcoming thing. I immediately texted Julia and I was like, was I got this. What the PR box? Um, you could check it out at Julia's home. Has some cool baking goods. Find out what baking can do, baby. Uh, that's a little waitress reference. I saw the the, the pro shot. Yeah, I've never so seen the show. Good. Oh, amazing! I was crying, crying. I was crying like there was a puppet dog on stage, and there was a boy telling it to sit for the first time in BSL. <laughs> that's how much I was crying in waitress. Wow, way to tie See what it I did all there? back. Yeah. That was really great. Should have been a publicist. <laughs> that was that was impressive. In okay. another life, in which another is a life. reference to. Is this real life? That's not the reference, but that's the where Bridges I'm... of Madison County, baby. Oh, I've never seen it. Oh, there was a production of it at Signature Theater. This oh, season. I should have been you? here. I was in New York. Cool. I'm so sorry. Oh, New York. Well, oh, whatever. <laughs> so cool. So a show coming to New York is Cabaret. Yes. And you were a superhero actor who went into a production with no timing. Talk about it. It was crazy <laughs> um, and so cool. Yeah. And I got on a plane and the next day I was on stage and um, and uh, I don't know how I did it. Okay, wait, but we need to give some Sorry. context. Yeah. No, because I, I intentionally, I'm gonna be honest to the audience that I did not give them, I did not give you a heads up that I was talking about this because I wanted to see the shock, okay. the, the amazing, but Julia was telling me that they, uh, for multiple reasons, that they lost their cliff uh, and MC. Yeah. And so people had to step up. You had not do done the production in 10 years. That's true. And then you like, can you walk us through that process? Like you got a phone call and you were like, boom, I'm gonna step into this role, no script, like next day or you were rehearsing and then the day after you were in the show, boom. Yeah, yeah, they put me on a plane and that night uh, I was in a rehearsal from eight to 11 and then the next day I had a fitting at 9 a.m. and then a rehearsal from noon to six and then at eight o'clock I was on stage uh, trying, trying, I was not trying, I was doing. You were succeeding! I was holding my own next to Krista Rodriguez. There were moments when I was like, is this happening right now? But it was, uh, it was fun. How do you do that? Adrenaline and you just surrender. That is the most impressive thing. I've heard like crazy stories of actors, but like, were you pulling from 10 years ago? I think there is something to be said of like the text that just sort of lives in the back of your brain. Yeah. And you, you have to refamiliarize yourself, of course, but it does kind of just bubble up. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure I could have done it if I hadn't done it a decade ago. I'll say Iconic. that. Iconic. Yeah. There were some like crazy stories with like the pandemic with like Elphaba's coming back to Wicked. Yeah. And, but like, you know, that's, like I heard like little things of that, but to hear it about you, like your specific experience actually like, you find out about it, you get on a plane, and then two days later you're performing it. Yeah. Yeah. Obsessed. The come down is crazy, guys. Theater is quite a drug. <laughs> quite a drug. Five shows at Signature. What does it feel like performing in this space? 
I love it. And I love, I do every, every show here is so different and the energy is so different and it was incredible. Ragtime closed yeah. and I had a Monday off and then on Tuesday I was back here to start Private Jones and it felt like a totally new environment yeah. because every show is so different. Yeah. Uh, and Marshall Paylett, who wrote and directed this show has just created such a uh, warm and welcoming and safe environment yes. um, that it's been, I don't know, this is a special one. Yeah. yeah. I also am so impressed by the set that it's like a black box theater and you can totally change the space. Like Rent was in the round and this uh, with all the, there's really cool set and staging here. Like expands your, the battlefield. I can. I think I just want to say Marshall's a genius and knows how to use space well and knows how to manipulate bodies in space. And the set as it is, is such a playground yes. that it's exciting the ways in which we get to reveal all of the things it can do yeah. to the audience because you look at it and you think, okay, I know what that is. And then it sort of just keeps yeah. evolving. Mm. Uh, and like the story because it goes so many places. Right. And, and the use of sound too. The use of um, all the actors, like also playing like instruments really. Uh, can you talk about what that aspect uh, for audiences at home who might be wondering how this production is gonna be told in a World War One setting? Sure, I think so much of what makes this production and this story special is this idea of playing with the idea of the memory of sound mm. because Gomer starts as a hearing child, and now we know him as a non-hearing teenager. And so a lot of the ways in which that Marshall wanted to use the Foley is as the memory of sound, and what is the memory of a sound, Ooh. if that makes sense. Yes. And so I think that's what a lot of the Foley, which is like drums uh, and, and cranks and, yeah. and cocks, and that's what it exists Amazing. to do. Yeah. Any final words for the fans? Come see Private Jones at Signature Theater. Uh, it's a really special one. And if you miss it here, I think it has legs. <laughs> I think it's a, yeah, it's, it's a special one. We love new musical theater <laughs> and too. especially here with the world premiere. How can people see it? People can come to the Signature Theater, which is in Arlington, Virginia, right outside of Washington, DC. We are running from now until March 10th. Short run, amazing show, hop on the train. It's it's beautiful. The music's stunning. Stunning. It's funny. Yeah. But you'll cry. Ah. But you'll laugh. See, See you at, at the show. show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.